Today we're going to talk about alcohol. Now alcohol is something that uh, can be a very common question is how can I still drink alcohol while still achieving my goals? And or if I can still drink alcohol while still achieving my goals? The answer is yes, you can still drink alcohol and still achieve your goals, but there are a few considerations that you need to think about and calculate before you go and do that and to see if it's really worth it. Now. Uh, we're going to talk about this now. I need to explain to you something that alcohol is still a macronutrient. It's actually the fourth macronutrient of the four macronutrients. So you have your protein, fats, carbohydrates, and then you have alcohol. Now with alcohol, for one gram of alcohol equals seven calories. So that's something for you just to know, but it's not something that we usually put into obviously our macros of when we're setting it because protein is obviously going to be helping us with muscle rebuilding and recovery. Fats will help us with our hormones. Carbohydrates will also help us with our energy. But the alcohol component of the macronutrients doesn't really give us any nutritional benefits, So, which is why we don't add it in. I mean, there are some benefits to drinking alcohol, but in terms of a nutritional aspect, there is none. Now, how do we do it? How, can we, how do we drink alcohol? How do we consume that while still achieving our goals? Well, lucky you have me here because I'm about to break it down for you. Now, alcohol in calories. What you want to do is you want to put the alcohol component of whatever you're having. Now, let's say an example is a glass of Shiraz. We're going to put the glass, the, the, uh, the wine glass, we're going to place that on the scales. We're then going to pour the bottle of Shiraz into a certain amount. Now, for this example, we're going to pour 250 mils. Now, that's a pretty decent glass of wine, right? So, 250 mils of the Shiraz, it comes to 166 calories. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get your MyFitnessPal, scan the barcode of the bottle of wine, and see what it comes up with. Now, if it's not in MyFitnessPal, then I want you just to write down if it's like, let's say for instance, it's cab sav, I want you to, and it didn't come up on my fitness power, then I just want you to search it and just find any bottle of wine that has cab sav, right? So that way you're getting a little bit of an estimate of how many calories it would be. So we've poured 250 mils, which on my fitness power that has showed me that it is 166 calories. Now, what we can do is we're gonna to come to here. You can choose to use those calories from your carbohydrates, or your fats. So you know the number of carbohydrates and fats that I've given you for your daily macros. Now the, the alcohol is gonna be used in those numbers. We cannot use it from our protein. Our protein cannot be borrowed or spared from other things. We need to make sure we're hitting that each day. So that means then we have to use it from our carbs or fats. Now this is gonna to come to a personal preference depending on your numbers or how you eat. Maybe you wanna be able to save a certain amount of fats or maybe you'd prefer to save carbs for your alcohol, all right? The choice is yours. So we're gonna find the alcohol and calories, then we're gonna divide it by the carb source or the fat source. Now, in the carbohydrate, in one gram of carbohydrates, there is four calories. In one gram of fats, there is nine calories. So what we would do is the 166 calories that we have here, we're gonna divide it by either the four or the nine, so for in this instance, I'm gonna use it from my carbs and 166 calories divided by four will give me 41.5. So that's 41.5 grams of carbs, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, once I find, found that out, it's 41 grams of carbs, then I'm gonna go into my fitness power and I'm gonna go into step two. I'm gonna search in my fitness power carbohydrates. I'm going to write that and it's going to come up. Now, that's going to be acting as a certain carbs on your daily intake. So once you've done typed in carbohydrates, we are then going to enter in the amount in grams. So for this instance, we're going to add 41.5 grams of carbs. That you press tick, that gets equivalent, uh, equaled into your daily intake. And that's how you would track alcohol while still reaching your goals, while still hitting your daily macronutrients or your calorie uh, requirements for the day. And by doing that, you're not gonna go off track. Now, just be in consideration that you don't wanna go overboard with this um, and you wanna be smart with this approach. So please don't drink excessively. Now, if you do, 
Um, you can borrow calories throughout the week for this, but I wouldn't recommend doing it too much um, and borrowing calories too much for this. But you know, end of the day, we need to make sure that we're still living a good lifestyle with flexibility and when things come up. And something like this, you know, you, maybe you wanna have a, a wine or two uh, after work or you're going out with the girls, then, then you, know, you can do this stuff and still track it and you can just put it in, even populate it in before before you go out and you know, you know that you're gonna have two glasses of wine while you're out. And you can populate in My Fitness Pal. you can do step two first and then go out with your girls and don't have to worry about tracking it because you know you're gonna have two glasses. And that way then you know you're having two glasses, you fit that in with your lifestyle with your friends, but then you also know you're hitting your goals for your, um, for your journey with me. Anyway, I hope that, uh, I hope that helps and um, happy drinking, cheers.